Yes, it's a jewelry DIY again. I know how much you love our jewelry DIY videos. So here comes another one. Hi, this is Devo Priya and you're watching Kanya Art and Craft. Now let's get started with our first DIY. Here I've taken an old wooden comb. This comb was already broken. I'm just cutting the extra small part to make it look symmetric. Taking fabric will mold it. Sprinkling some talcum powder on my palm and then I'm mixing equal portion of resin base and hardener together. Now I'm giving a cylindrical shape to the clay and then pressing the clay using a scale like this. Reshaping it and attaching it to the top part of the comb like this. Taking a brush and pressing inwards to create curves. Making some holes using a tool and we are ready with the base. Drawing some pattern and now let's start with the coloring part. Here on the comb part, I'm applying till blue color. Now applying neon pink color on the triangular part. Using black color to draw the borders and drawing some triangles using white color. Applying few dots around the triangle. Applying a lot of dots using vibrant colors to enhance the look of this comb. Taking a piece of clay and rolling it to give cylindrical shape. Now taking a thin end brush or you can also use a toothpick adding some talcum powder so that it doesn't stick to the clay and making a hole like this. And our clay beads are ready to use. Now applying different vibrant shades on the beads and I'm also decorating the beads using some dots as well. Applying gloss varnish to give the pendant a finished look. I have also applied varnish on the bits as well to give them a glossy finish. Now stitching the clay and the comb part together, tying a knot on the back side of the comb and applying some glue to secure it properly. Making a knot and now I'll stitch everything together. Adding pom pom and two cori shell on the necklace dory and then I'm taking this handmade beads adding one of them and then I'm adding another pom-pom followed by four or five kungru charms now I'll repeat the same adding another handmade bead and then adding pom-pom to extend the dory and finishing by attaching the edge to this cotton dory this is how our DIY comb necklace looks like isn't it looking pretty and gives off a boho vibe you can pair such neck piece with anything like a sari kurta indo western it goes with everything basically now let's move on to our second DIY mixing resin base and hardener together to form a dry clay using a rolling pin to flatten it and then giving the clay a bird shape Taking some more clay and rolling again to form tail shape. Merging both the pieces together using finger and then apply some glue on the back side and stick a masking tape to make it strong. I have also capped two holes to stitch it with the dory. Applying orange color. Applying green color using flat brush number 4. I'll be applying two layers of each color on all the areas to avoid patches. Applying yellow color. Here I'm using brush number 1 to add some geometrical pattern on the tail part. If you find this video helpful then please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming projects. Adding some different pattern using black and white color on the main body part. If you want, you can use multi colors to enhance the look of this pendant. To be very frank, I haven't planned a single thing for this DIY. I like whatever coming in my mind, I'm just going with the flow. Adding some dots randomly and 
drawing the eyes using black color. Uh, here is two small bird I made using air dry clay. I have also uh, made one hole so that we can put it in the thread while stitching the dory part. Here I've taken four four strip of three different color of woolen thread using a brush and masking tape to hold them in one place and then I'll start making braid out of it. Here I'm adding some kungaroo charms maintaining equal distance on the dory part. This will obviously give the dory a funky look and who doesn't like the sound of charms. And we are done with the dory. These are the handmade beads that I made using air dry clay. Now it's time to stitch everything together. Uh, here I've taken one needle and a cotton thread and uh, now I'll add all the things one by one. First I have added pom pom, then two cori shell, then handmade bead and again pom pom. I will repeat the same sequence followed by some gungro charms and handmade beads. Adding the small birds to the dory, this will definitely give this dory a different look. Here I have taken two connector to stitch the end part of it. That's how it looks. Cutting extra thread from the dory part and applying glue to stick all the thread together. Now I'll tie the dory and pendant together in this way. And this is how the neck piece has turned out. This was totally from scratch and I'm just loving the outcome. Pair it with sari, kurti or indo western and you're ready to rock. If you find this jewelry DIY ideas interesting then give me a thumbs up in the comment section below. And wait, don't forget to subscribe. Now let's move on to our third project. Taking a piece of printed cotton fabric, marking lines maintaining 1 inch width. Now cutting two strips. Folding the fabric like this, applying glue on one side and sticking it. Here I'm taking two set of maroon color cotton thread. Now applying some glue on the one side of the cotton strip then sticking the thread inside and fixing this corner like this. I'll do the same with both pieces of fabric strip. Here I'm taking a 4 by 6 inch cardboard and a Acha printed cotton fabric. Applying some glue and sticking the fabric to this cardboard. Cutting the corners and sticking the back side of the fabric following this process. Applying some glue on the back side and sticking a piece of fabric. Applying glue on two corners and sticking the fabric strip like this. Applying glue and sticking different shape mirrors. Here I'm using red color 3d outliner to outline this mirrors and now drawing a pattern to enhance the look using orange color 3d outliner to cover the outer part of triangular shape mirror here i've taken a cotton thread and a piece of cardboard and rolling the thread up to certain thickness on the cardboard tying a knot on one side and cutting the other side. Ta-da! Our handmade tassels are ready to use. Here I'm taking some cori shell and some handmade tassels. Now it's time to stitch everything together. Applying glue and sticking the tassels on the back side of the pendant. Covering the back side with glue and sticking a fabric to secure it properly. Now stitching some kungaroo charms and cori shell on the dory part. Stitching the cori shell properly with the fabric dory to secure. I'm stitching everything together. If you want you can also use glue gun to stick them instead of stitching. Similarly we'll add few more to the dory maintaining equal distance. I believe the neck piece looks so vibrant because of this Ajrak printed fabric. I'm finished with the third project and this is how it looks. And if you're recreating this neck piece, try to use a very vibrant printed fabric. 
So in this video, I've shared three different jewelry DIYs from scratch. I hope this video will motivate you to create something new, something interesting from scratch. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.